wonderful world of Disney. Tonight, the thrilling conclusion of The Boy from Dead Man's Bayou. Last week's episode, we met our hero, Jeannot, and his young cousin, Claude. Together, they shared a secret dream, to find a silver church bell lost in the big hurricane a year ago. Jeannot had a clue, and he had a boy's unquestioning faith. But his uncle, Maxime, it seemed, did not. And then the hurricane, he come and blow the church away, and my brother Jean, now he's dead. And Jeannot's mother is dead, too. And Jeannot's brother. So what good did the bell do, the silver bell? Jeannot would not be discouraged, for the bell had been made by his father. To find something lost in the bayou, the boys decided they needed an underwater snorkel. Armed with their secret weapon, they ventured into Dead Man's Bayou, unaware that the place was closely guarded. Jill! Jeannot knew of a way to deal with alligators. He would ask his friend Charbot to make him a special charm for protection against evil spirits and alligators. You could make me something to wear around my neck, Charbot. Oh, uh, listen, to make charm take lots of time. Many things have to be found. The words have to be just right, you know. But you will make the charm, huh, Charbot? That deal, huh? Hey, Charbot, we come to see you. Hi, Royo. Bien, hein? Edouard, we have company, huh? Eh? I think I know what this company come for. Next come the ladybird with seven spots on her back. You know this is for dead men by you, huh? To keep away bad spirit. Hey, you, Claude, you are not afraid to go to this by you? It would be better to have a charm, Charbo. Oh, we, oui, huh? Oh, there are many things in this place, huh? Oh, we. Oui. Sometimes in the night, you hear strange voices. Voices? Of the departed. And sometimes when the wind blows, there is a sound very far away, like a bell ringing. Me too, I carry something when I go there for the crawfish. Oh, it's very bad place, but very good crawfish, huh? <laughs> bon, one last thing for the charm. One feather from the red tail hawk. You must go high in her nest and find it. Then, and all bad things will not come near. Bon. No. Lemma. Evil spirit cannot go close to Claude or Jeannot. Earth and water in the air. None can touch this piece of hair. Piece of feather, bit of bone. Evil eye in magic stone. None can come to hurt or harm if they carry Shabo Char. Eh bien. Further from the Red Hawk, and evil things will not come near. Yeah. Hey, very good charm, huh? 
but you not stay away from mass any Sunday. Could eat that way, he is too tough. Huh? Attention, Mati. Black. Same to you, Charbo. We'll get that feather and nothing will touch us. Say so. Ah, yeah, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. 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 Chapeau, he make for you the charm against the spirit. And, and all we needed was this one more thing. And so you found the silver bell. Somewhere in the bayou? Jeannot, let Alcide help with the bell. Oh, no, no, I have to go alone. In the dream, Papa said that I should go and find it and bring it back. Your papa would be very proud of you. Stand up, see how it feels, huh? It's not too tight? No, no, it's okay. Good. Don't Louise. Yes? Please don't tell anyone till I bring it back. Don't tell. Uncle Maxime. Oh. I tell no one. That is a secret between you and me. And the silver bell, no? <sighs> oh, Tom Louise. Yes? But I'm glad I told you. And I am glad too. Now you go outside. Sit and rest. I make something good for you dinner. Papa's eyes were green, weren't they? Yes. A very beautiful green. 
That's how I saw him in the dream. With green eyes and smiling at me. <laughs> Papa will be very proud when I bring back his bill, won't he? Very proud. And everyone else. Father Boudreau. And you? And me. I will be very proud also. Good afternoon, you know. So, huh? You are all right? I'm all right, Uncle Maxime. I understand you are climbing a tree with unfortunate results. Maxime, the boy has felt enough pain for one day. Is it perhaps that there was something very interesting in the trees? Huh? Maxime! Louise, I ask my nephew a simple question. Huh? I was climbing the tree to go get a hawk's feather, Uncle Maxime. Jana, go outside, please. Hmm? That is a worthy object. Climb a tree for a feather. That is worthy of a dreamer. Uh, Maxine, I'm in a mood to be alone. To climb a tree for a feather. That is worthy of my brother Jean. Maxine, uh, there are times when I am not overcome by amusement. A feather, a shrimp boat, a silver bell, heads. In the clouds. Hmm? Maxime, you are in the way of dinner. Tell me, why did the bond you give to me all the responsibility and to him all the crazy dreams? It's not that I did not love and admire my brother Jean. I did, for true. You also admire Jean, oh. n'est-ce pas, Louis? Maxime. The truth, Louise? That was uh, 20 years ago, more. I am not asking the longevity. I'm making a statement of your admiration for the dreamer. Of course I admire Jean, but you are the one who fell in the trap. All I ask for my nephew is a responsible, respectable friend. He's a smart boy. His intentions are... The trap? That is what the man calls it, no? <laughs> Nobody trapped Maxime Leboeuf. I am my own man. <laughs> Maxine! Mm -hmm. You know something? If you want your dinner, you better get out of my kitchen. You thought that my brother Jean was more handsome than me. Ah, Maxine! I know. I know. Tell me, climbing a tree for a feather, does that make sense? Answer. No, no, don't answer. I'm more than satisfied to answer for myself. They're a mystery, eh? What are we gonna do, you know? We're gonna make a trap to catch that alligator. Feathers? Mm-hmm. You see, since you're not allowed to shoot the alligator anymore, we're gonna tie him up while we find Papa Silver Bell. Tie him? With feathers? No, no, not with feathers. Here, hold this. With feathers, with this rope. Oh, with rope. Look. Let's say that I'm the alligator, okay? We. Oui. Now, I'm in dead man's body looking for my breakfast, okay? We. Oui. What do I see? Feathers? <laughs> yes, I see feathers. A fine white bird sitting on the stump of a tree in the water. Sneak up on the bird. You are very hungry. Oh, I'm starving. Your favorite breakfast is fat white bird. We. Oui. I come closer and closer. I show him my big.
big white teeth. I charge. Hello, we have captured the alligator. And when we get the bill, we'll come back and let him loose. Miss Fox? That's just what we'll do. Hello, Father. Father? Hello, Claude. Jean, how's the foot coming along? Okay, Father. Like the tower. Uh, and we build a little more each day. We had a gift in return for spiritual comfort. <laughs> It'll be just like the old one, Father. I don't know what anything looked like since the big wind came. But I will take your word for it. Okay. Bien, Father. Bye-bye. assist you today, my good friends. Oh, do you have any black eyed peas? Black eyed peas? <laughs> <laughs> voila, voila, the black eyed peas. All right. Tell me, how many do you want? Two. Two pounds? Huh? Two peas. For a bird, to make his eyes. Two black eyed peas? We'll pay for them. Well, no, no, no. It, it, it so happens that um, today I have a sale on black eyed peas. Sale? Huh. And the first dozen is free. There you are. All right? Thanks, Mr. Vaughn. <laughs> Do not mention it. For such good customers, nothing is too much. <laughs> hey, they, 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 tell me something. This bird, um, uh, well, uh, what kind is she? Well, she's made from wood on the inside and feathers on the outside. Ah, ah, ah. She doesn't fly. Oh, it's pity. Well, um, this bird, uh, what does she do, you know? Well... Ah, but you, you, you don't have to tell me. You know why? Because I can take one look at her and know that anything is possible. Nah. You go home and put on the eyes, <laughs> and you will find out she is a thing of beauty. Oh, I guarantee you. Eh? All right. Thanks, okay. Hey, da, 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 da. All right. Please, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> take care of your food, eh? I will. Give our regards to Papa. Somebody doesn't want us in this bayou today? I'm scared? No? I'm scared. Me too. Charbo said, Evil spirits cannot go close to Claude or Jeannot. No? Don't you worry.
we'll share, okay? Okay. She's as good as new now. You know? Yes? Are we going back to Dead Man's Bayou? No, we're not going. Good. Not we. I'm going alone next time. No! Listen, that Bayou's no place for you. Or for you. The bell is still there, Claude. You know, it'll take two to catch that alligator. Well, the rope's already in place. I can do it myself. I'll go to sleep. No. If you go, I go. You're not going. But you know, there's something bad out there. I could feel it all the time. Here. You'll need this. Okay, I'm here to help. It's all right. I can do it. Papa's looking for you. He's going back in the bio for a week. Maybe more. He's going to take you with him. What? He says it's time you learn to pick the moss. A week? There could be a big storm in a week. The channel could change and I would lose the bell. Hello? While I pick the moss, the bell could be lost forever. When you come back from the moss, we'll go together. No? Hello! You know, I won't be afraid. I promise you, no matter what's in that bayou. No, 
you're not going. Now listen. I'm going to Dead Man's Bayou, and I'm not coming back till I have Papa's bell. Now this could be a long time, so you can't go. Hear the old bullfrog sing in a deep, mellow bass. Hear a silver bell ring from a dark, secret place where the possum play possum when they see a strange face. It's a world full of music for a lone bayou boy. In a Where is your note? Huh? Where is your cousin? His pirogue is gone. His bed is not slept in. Where is he, eh? Uh, Maxime, uh, I make a bottle of uh, stock for your gumbo. You want to know where he is? I will tell you where he is. He has run up to the woods to hide until we are gone. A little garlic for our strong man, I'll feed. Small speaking is not good enough for that one. He wants to sit around all day and dream. Very well. Bien. We'll go without him. Bien. But don't go without your gumbo. And when he comes out of his hiding, you tell him for me that there will be a settlement when I get back. A very serious settlement with me when I get back. Tell him that. Did you not go without telling you? Oh, I'm sorry, mon petit. It wasn't going to be easy to find, you know. I told you to stay home, no? A big cat like you carried like a baby.
dead man's body for sure. Come on, we'd better find you know. Something's happened to you. I told her I was going to visit Cousin Emil. Claude, that's a lie. No, I went to visit Cousin Emil. Then I came here. <laughs> what a crazy idea. You could have got lost in this bayou. Charbo really heard the bell ringing in the night? In this bayou, anything's possible. But you have the charm if anything bad comes, no? Lost? I forgot it. I left it under my pillow. Listen, let's not talk about bad things. We have it too this time. Cats are lucky. He sure is lucky. I carried him most of the way. Claude. This is only a bayou. One is like the rest. Dead Man's Bayou is only a name. Okay? Now eat your supper. Screech Owl. Claude, now go back to... Could be something else. What else? Just the voice of an owl. Now, Claude, you've heard a Screech Owl before, and I've heard a Screech Owl. Now, there's nothing to... are red in the dark. Now we're making things out of nothing. Charbeau said there were spirits in this bayou. No. Now, go to sleep and I'll keep watch, okay? Okay, we'll both keep watch.
I think maybe it's okay for you to stay. To help catch the alligator. Two will be better than one. Soon we'll see if she looks real enough. All right, I don't like this place any better than you, but you and me, we have to eat, no? All right, all right, but here is the best crawfish, and if you do not like, you can go home, okay? Hey, I make small joke. Voyons, l'oiseau t'a dur. Ah, l'oiseau t'a dur. Put that noose around his tail.
Caniche, vite Jano, wake up. I have some gumbo for you. It is my special recipe. Taste a little, huh? When you get better, we'll go back and look for the silver bell. We could never find that place again. The bell belongs to the alligator now. Rest a while now, and don't you worry about your Uncle Maxime. When he comes back, I will talk with him. Charbon. Oh, ça va bien. And you? Good well, Charbon. Hey, that's one nice church you make there. <laughs> Maybe I come see you some Sunday, huh? Uh, a promise? Oh. Baby, first you and me, we talk business, huh? You got a couple minutes, Father? Uh, of course. I come see the boy, Jeannot. He's not so good since that alligator, huh? for him every day. Oh, me too, huh? Oh, but I bring too little bit magic, huh? Maybe make him feel better. By you, magic? It's pas dur, huh? <laughs> oh, but you have to help me with this magic, father, huh? You and me and the bon Dieu, maybe some good comfort, you know, huh? We try, father. <laughs> magic for me? Oui. Something to taste bad, huh? Oh, mais non, this is different, this one. This magic special, hein? Gino! Gino! Father, no, no, no. Shh. no, 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 pas encore. Shh. Didn't you tell him? Not yet, but now is the time. <laughs> Oh, I bet you they hear that bell all over the bayou. <laughs> 